Hello my lovely Geminis, I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be your weekly reading for the week of the 5th going to the 11th of February. So let's dive straight in. Let's see what's going on for you guys, okay? For my lovely Geminis, please spirit. Alright, let's see what's going on for you. Alright, your overall energy this week is the Seven of Cups, so feeling a little bit confused. Uh, that's what's coming up here. So you might have a lot of options around you this week. I don't know exactly what it is just yet. Yeah, I will jump into the clarifying cards in just a second. But this card comes in when we just are a little bit confused as to what we should be really doing or choosing uh, in our life. So you might be a little bit closed off to making some decisions because of some uncertainty. Let's just clarify what this is about for you guys. For my lovely Gemini's please, Spirit, Seven of Cups. Ooh, the Ten of Swords just tried to jump out just there. All right, let's see. Seven of Cups, please. What's causing this judgment? Which is kind of a uh, very any of the death card on the bottom of the deck here as well with judgment. All right, so there is uh, most likely a decision coming through in terms of releasing something because the Ten of Swords did just kind of show up and then it kind of went back in again. And then the judgment came out and both of these are about release it could potentially be ending a cycle here is something that you are a little bit not sure whether you should do or not the judgment in this case is saying that clarity is going to come through to you all right and there is going to be some some sort of upgrade i always see this as an upgrade she's releasing something her spirit is going to other places it could potentially be about a calling as well so for some of you um I feel like you don't really, you're kind of a bit confused and you can't really see what your calling is, what your purpose is, what the universe is asking of you to do right now. Uh, but it is going to be made clear to you when you release the need to know. For example, like if you don't know what career path to do and you have your options, in, I'm so sorry, and you have some options in front of you and you just, you don't know and it's so confusing and so overwhelming to think about the options and like your head is spinning. The more that you're in that energy, the more confused you're going to get, all right? It's a, a little bit of like, okay, I release, I let go. The answer will be very clear to me because the universe will make sure that it is, okay? And saying that kind of affirmation works, but I think the whole releasing process is really what actually gives us that clarity. And I do feel like that is a, um, something that the universe is asking for you to do if you are struggling with making a decision. A major change is clearly coming up for you. You do have a lot of cards symbolizing that already. So release, let go. You don't need to know everything right now. Um, and if you are super confused on the options that you have around you, it will be made known to you once you let go the need to know right now. Um, I think it will happen much sooner than you think, the answer. All right, so don't panic too much. So your challenge this week, Gemini is the Queen of Cups. So this card comes in. This could be a person, okay? There could be a water sign, uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, who is a little bit of a challenge for you guys this week. But because you have this Seven of Cups, a water sign card in your energy, this could very well be representing you. So there could be a little bit of difficulty when it comes down to your feelings and emotions. The Queen of Cups is somebody who's super empathic, super affectionate, well, super loving, super compassionate, very understanding, and very emotionally supportive. Um, you know, she's so sensitive to the energies around her, which is what makes her an empath. So you guys could be having those characteristics this week and that could be your challenges because you're just super sensitive to the energies around you right now and if again I, I am sensing like emotional overwhelm is really coming in feeling super intense emotions is blocking you from seeing what you're supposed to be doing right now or what decision to make okay so finding time to nurture that that part of yourself so i think caught like less pressure on you would really be important um because, you know, if I was to, like, put myself in your shoes when I have a lot of options and I feel overwhelmed, I need a break. <laughs> because if I stay in that energy, I'm going to cry. Like, I'm just super, you know, um, super sensitive to chaotic things um, and maybe other people's problems, for example. Like, this is just saying there's a little bit of a cloud surrounding you um, and it's causing you to feel like a cloud, too. You know, if that's a thing, making you feel clouded, sorry, not like a cloud what does that mean um so yeah it does feel like there's a lot of things around you that are kind of creating a little bit of confusion all right queen of cups why is this here in a challenge position please for gemini's 
the wheel of fortune i am sensing that you know that you're gonna have to leave something behind eight of cups is on the bottom of the deck walking away from things that don't serve you all right so you know knowing that there are bigger things out there and something that feels missing you can go and find all right you have the wheel uh coming in which is the wheel of fortune that is kind of a card of like fate you know you never really know um where the what the wheel is going to give you what life is going to throw your way because this is coming up in your challenge position i think that you can sense or maybe you already know that there are some uncertain times ahead um and i think emotionally that's causing a lot of overwhelm for you that's causing a lot of stress that's causing a lot of difficulty uh or a challenge okay because it's, it's causing you to probably feel really confused and like you need to know right now what's going to happen and what the universe is going to throw your way because um would i say that you're assuming the worst i think it's just that you're super unclear and i think that causes a lot of people to panic all right now none of this is saying nothing bad i will say and i will admit i'm not sensing anything terrible happening but it's just like this overwhelm of confusion is really like the thing that's uh, getting the best of you this week so let's see what they're asking you to focus on seven of swords seven of swords has a reputation for being the lying cheating stealing card you know when someone has a lot of bit of a ill intention around you or maybe you're being a bit sneaky here let's just clarify that in terms of what there's a few messages of what this could be my first thing to say is that this is about having a bit of like a strategy going on seven of swords so let's just clarify that could be what they're asking you to have is some form of strategy in your life for some of you you know i am just getting a message here that some of you might be super overwhelmed about you know i think that there is some decision that you're wanting to make in your life and you are worried so much about the other people around you and what that might mean for them, which, you know, understandable. Um, but I think it's stopping you from gaining control of your life or actually making the decision that you know you want to make. And that seven of swords can sometimes be about, you know, self-sabotaging, going against what you know you should be doing um, and tiptoeing around it. Or again, it could be what they're asking you to do is to, to have your own strategy and stop thinking about the other people. He is stealing the swords for the better of himself from his enemies so that they can't be used against him, for example. And if they're asking you to focus on yourself, then it may be for some of you, maybe there is not the best of environment around you. Maybe there's a lot of like people out for their own personal gain. And maybe this is why the universe is kind of asking for you to just look after yourself. Don't worry. Uh, as long as you are safe and you're building a plan and make sure that you are safe, you don't need to worry about absolutely everybody else who's in the picture here or people who potentially are enemies to you really without you even realizing but anyway um i don't know let's let's just clarify seven of swords in terms of what gemini should be focusing on the eight of wands and the page of wands well yeah so in this case eight of wands coming through is really about where your life is taking you it's about life speeding up it's about things moving in a really positive direction by the way but it can be very overwhelming a lot of overwhelm coming up in your reading to be honest page of wands is a card of it could be a messenger for some of you that could potentially be a message coming through some of you if you are feeling like someone is not someone's not giving you the best of vibes and you know uh, if some of you, mm, yeah, okay, I will. Uh, I'm breathing like that because, you know, sometimes this will only be for a few of you, okay? If you already sensed this already, then that could potentially be a message for you. But for some of you, there's a little bit of gaslighting going on. Like, I'm almost sensing here that someone's words and actions aren't adding up and you have a gut feeling about it but you're kind of blinding yourself to it because they promised you something or they said something you know and you're just trying to trust them just trying to believe them or you know i think you're so focused on the other person that you're forgetting about yourself in this and what your intuition is really saying because for some of you what they want you to focus on is that seven of swords energy so if you're feeling like someone is deceptive or you know this again it's more about personal gain someone's out for their own personal gain then you got, you got to trust your gut with that because page of wands eight of wands there could be some news coming in or you guys could be getting a message about somebody's sneakiness you know for some now 
that was something because that's not going to be for everybody but it was definitely for somebody out there the page of wands can be an optimistic energy um again some of you will be finding something out but for the others of you uh, this could just be about your own plan the page of wands is kind of like optimism it's like your inner child it's like setting yourself free in a sense um, being creative and going down creative routes and you know like children they just don't really think about things they just do what makes them happy um i feel like that's something that they're wanting you to do is to do what makes you happy um I kind of the imagery that I'm getting for you Gemini is that you guys kind of like make sure everyone is fed first before you feed yourself you know like that's the energy I'm picking up and that's not a bad trait to have you know you're clearly very uh, giving you're clearly very nurturing and you know you have this almost maternal instinct of like um, once everyone else is sorted then I can sort myself out or or prioritizing things outside yourself in general it doesn't have to be people specifically but it could be even saying okay once my career is sorted out then i can look after myself or once this is done then i can like do what i want to do and follow my passions or prioritize that like there is something here about they want you to take first take for yourself first a lot of you just kind of let other people go first and then you go after it's almost like they're asking you to go first i don't know what this is talking about gemini but hey intuitive message some of you will understand what this is when it happens or already otherwise it's just not for you yeah go first is what they're saying they want you to take first don't wait for other people to come in like for example a job interview you know you're sitting there and you want to be nice oh no you can go first okay then that person gets a job you know and it's like oh you didn't even get a chance because you prioritized other people you don't even know you know this that, that's the kind of energy i'm getting it's not a bad trait but you're kind of putting yourself at the back of the line and you're missing out on opportunities because you're so focused on giving everyone else like you're, you're too nice some of you are a bit too nice nothing wrong with it um but it almost comes from a place of not knowing how to put yourself first and that's really the root uh, that we need to change all right anyway let's move forward i hope you guys understand either way what to focus on is your life is really speeding up but it's speeding up when you put yourself first all right when you take first when you fill up your cup first specifically when you prioritize yourself and you strategize on what you want i really do see things speeding up for you and again when you release and when you let go when you trust really is where clarity comes your way okay now in your recent past wheel of fortune <laughs> card of fate as we've said already this is your challenge is something that you've been dealing with for a little bit is a little bit of the unexpected a little bit of life throwing things at you for better for worse it's an ambiguous card let's just clarify the wheel of fortune the emperor the king of pentacles both of these cards uh, have characteristics of really being in control and having a plan financial plan legacy could potentially be two significant people um and you're like what's very interesting about this is this is aries then it's taurus and then you are a gemini so it's like going down in the list of um uh people for some reason i don't know exactly what that means up for your own interpretation if you have one but the emperor is a, a card of somebody being in control it could represent a boss figure to be honest with you especially if, with the king of pentacles could be um someone controlling your destiny or your fate usually i would say the otherwise but because we have the seven of cups queen of cups and them asking you to put yourself first it's very likely that a lot of you have been controlled in your life whether it's by a father figure a boss figure you know listening to somebody else's rules um or their own needs first like you forgot how to prioritize yourself for example i'm gonna move on all right let's see um uh in terms of your strengths this week the three of wands is an interesting strength to have the three of wands is really about trying to manifest something in you know putting the work into something and waiting for things to to come back to you i will clarify this as a strength the devil we're going to clarify it again gemini <laughs> it's 
Seems as you've had a couple clarifiers for a, a few of the cards. Let's, let's go. Why is the devil here? The six of cups. And it jumped out on top of your past energy. Again, control. Something um, being in control here. Can you just clarify the three of wands? The waiting part of that? The king of swords. I really get this sense here. I think you cut free from something that was quite controlling to you or you've kind of recognized it for what it is or you've started to gain control of your life because all of this energy, you know, air sign energy, placing boundaries, standing up for yourself, speaking your truth where necessary, communicating, six of cups with the devil, you guys have probably had quite tough childhoods or past situations where again, you've kind of been influenced by this devil energy. I don't know if that's manipulation, because for some of you it could be. Some of you, you know, could be things trying to mess with your head, or, you know, like I said earlier, a little bit of like gaslighting or emotional blackmail, or, you know, something has caused you to feel guilty for putting yourself first. That's that devil energy, to be honest. Now, what has this got to do with waiting now? Because it's kind of linking to your past energy. Um, and if we're going to relate it to the other messages that we've we've had, I think your strengths this week is not so much waiting. Um, I really kind of feel like it's about taking control. And actually, instead of waiting, it's about going out there and getting it for yourself. Like I said, it's taking first. It's actually, you know kind of grabbing opportunities instead of waiting for them. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting because maybe you kind of felt like something was going to save you from the past, but it wasn't until you took the first steps that things actually started to happen. Like there's an energy here. Something that you did in the past related to this devil energy is a way that you're going to deal with this lesson that's coming in or deal with this past or deal with this situation. Near future for you, Gemini. High priestess. Oof. Moving in silent, but also being very highly connected with your intuition and your purpose. Let's just clarify that. That's Piscean energy, known to be super intuitive. So uh, dealing with the unconscious, unconscious mind. Subconscious mind. All right, we have the Queen of Wands. Uh, I'm hearing being in a position of power for some of you, but again, some of you will be detaching from certain, you know, communicating what it is that you're really doing, all the ideas that you have. I would say that that is a big uh, area of advice for you um, because again, some of you might be telling people, oh, like, I think you, that's the energy of being nice. It's like, oh, like, yeah, that's, this is what I'm going to do. Like, I don't mind sharing it with you. And then they take your idea or, you know, like there's just an energy of like, your emotions have been, kind of used against you or your kind given nature has been used against you they're not asking you to not be kind but they're asking you to make sure you're being kind to yourself first in decisions or in actions that you take before prioritizing everybody else like it's asking for you to prioritize yourself which is why i kind of guess like your own ideas and decision making needs to be in silence uh, because it just feels like, again, like people have kind of taken, I don't know, maybe you gave your ideas to people in the past. Like I'm seeing really extremely like lack of boundaries with others of how much you're giving to people. And again, that leads to attracting and takers. Um, High Priestess, Queen of Wands, work in silence. Uh, you're going to have a lot of creative, intuitive ideas that are really going to build your confidence. Uh, Queen of Wands, some of you might end up in like a manager position or in a really good position that you're just having fun. Regardless of what the status is, Queen of Wands is a very optimistic, very fun energy uh, to have, to be honest. So in the near future, it is really good. All right, let's see. How will you be feeling? I almost shuffled it. How will you be feeling for a slot? So yeah, this is an energy of healing, taking a time out, addressing hurts and pains that you've been through, addressing the lesson that's behind it, the truth that lies with it. All right, a lot of butterflies around you are kind of symbolizing not only spiritual guidance, all right, and angels being around you, but also um, transformation up ahead. You're addressing something here, which is very good. That's the first step. 
and is really addressing something. Let's clarify the Four of Swords. Some of you, if you are dealing with any health issues, then that's something definitely that you guys are dealing with at this time and healing from. Um, but because it's also being clarified by the Nine of Swords, there is an element of, of worries, of doubts, of fears with that Nine of Swords you can see here. It's more about kind of like anticipating the worst or, um, yeah, it's like the what ifs. Uh, but that nine of swords but again this is the area of you're addressing your fears you're addressing your doubts you're addressing what this problem could be that's preventing you or posing as a blockage that's preventing you from moving forward or, or actually again doing the things that we've been saying whether it's taking control of your life whether it is uh, detaching emotionally from something that releasing releasing the what fear is stopping you from releasing um the fear <laughs> like what's the fear what's stopping you from releasing the fear you know sometimes we i i say this because i mean you guys are mercury world as well i am a virgo so we are ruled by the same planet which means we have a lot of thoughts <laughs> sometimes um when we kind of assume the worst of a situation and then we, we can't that's a habit that we do it really is because that is something that makes you feel in control because if you assume the worst you know how to deal with the worst at least you know um or so you feel prepared in some way and it's a form of control using fear to kind of create some energy of control but it does feel like that's an area of your life that you are actually healing from to be honest with you let's see your environment this week oh three of swords well that's who is it what is it because it's not just coming from you there is something around you that's causing heartache, a person, a situation, just your environment in general, heartache, three of swords, heartache, separation, pain. What's the three of swords here? But because of how you're feeling is the four of swords, you're addressing your environment and the pain that it's causing you. Four of cups. It's a feeling of feeling quite bored or jaded or rejected. Clarify three of swords. Where is this pain coming from? With six of pentacles. Don't know why I'm doing these faces. It's my thinking. <laughs> That's why I do have to think, apparently. Six of pentacles is interesting because this is really, this can be a lot of things work related. It could just be in general what you're giving your time and energy to. Currently, that clearly needs to change because for some of you, there's some rejection there. You're not kind of meeting. Um, reciprocated energies or things that are good for you okay there is a little bit of an imbalance in your environment and it's causing more harm than good um six of pentacles again work related can be uh but it is a card of also maybe your health or because it's external your environment um could be finances but what i'm also trying to get to as well is that these what was i gonna get to <laughs> There was something. Oh, some of you it could be family. Um, but that six of pentacles, and I only say it because you've got the ten of pentacles here as well on the bottom of the deck, which is a, a card of family. <sighs> or work. Uh, maybe for some of you, like some of you could be trying to get a job, for example, if you don't have one already, or you're trying to get out of a job uh, and you're feeling like you're getting a lot of rejections, like the energy you're putting out is not coming back. You understand? Like this, again, like we said here, what you're waiting for is almost, not that it's not coming to, not coming to you, but the things that you've actually been, I don't know, I don't know if there needs to be a change in your energy first and a release and something then comes to you or you just, you find the exact thing that you need to do. I would say this release really does come first. You know, if we're thinking about what we're attracting, it's not the hard work and effort that you're attracting. It's what you believe that you deserve. And for some of you, if you have a habit of, again, putting other people first, then that might be why other people are getting picked. You know, it's like almost the energy is is at hand here so they're asking you to take first what does that mean i'm hoping you guys might know or understand what that means because i'm not living a life so i actually have no clue 
from a tarot perspective, I just think it's really grasping opportunities. But yeah, there's some disappointment in return in, in regards to what's actually returning to you and what is kind of this running you dry, if I have to say it that way, right? Overall energy, nine of cups. So that's good because there is a level of wish fulfillment coming through this week. And again, something they are really asking you to prioritize is your wish fulfillment. This is not the ten of cups. This is not about everyone else as well. This is about you right now. Then everyone else comes after that. It's always the way that it goes. All right, let's clarify this for you, Gemini. Queen of Swords, boundaries, protecting your heart space, protecting what you worked really hard for, and the hanged man. Piscean energy again coming in. You guys are very intuitive, by the way, Gemini. For those who I'm speaking to, this is seeing things a bit differently. Uh, Queen of Swords, as you can see, she's got her. This cup represents her heart, it's her emotions, it's her feelings. Um, she doesn't rule by her feelings anymore. And I really do see that a major big change is again not being in that. You can still be an empath but have boundaries, for example. You can still be a nice person and know when to put yourself first, um, et cetera, et cetera. It, there is that, that kind of understanding that you are gaining from situations that kept you quite stuck. Um, with that Queen of Swords boundaries, she's very direct. She's not afraid to communicate her truth. Um, very straightforward energy. So this is where your wish fulfillment comes from. And it is about seeing things in a different perspective because maybe you were conditioned to believe that if you didn't prioritize everyone first and you're rude, <laughs> you know, if you, if you didn't make sure everyone else ate first, um, then you were never going to have a really good community or people wouldn't like you or whatever. Like you are really kind of, you're, you're having to challenge old beliefs because your environment has not been giving you what you thought it would give like that's the energy i'm picking up on there i don't want to say you're running out of options i but i did just hear that it's, it's not that it seems like that but it really is you know the universe kind of singling out the, the only option that they want you to pick it seems like you're running out of options when really it's just narrowing down your options so that you can pick the right one is what it feels like Whatever that means to you, right. I do have the tea leaf tarot. Everyone's been asking for it to make a comeback, so here it is. These are just some random extra cards for you, just to give you some things this week. All right, let's see. For Gemini. All righty, you have doing something risky, taking a chance. You have the significance around the month of June here casket someone going out of your life or the end of a situation which did try to make its appearance you have a uh, guaranteed success coming in for you gemini so don't you worry about the, the the issues that are at hand because that is just a really good um card to just guarantee that there is going to be a successful outcome no matter how things look so release give it to god give it to the universe let them deal with it let them give you clarity because it will become clear uh obstacles to overcome which we already can see there we have reconciliation. That could just be a card of forgiveness. Um, doesn't, you know, take that however it is. You don't have to let anyone into your life um, that you don't want. So don't come at me saying, I will never forgive that person. I'll never let them into my life. Okay. Good good for you. And, and so you should. Good for you. Um, it's just saying that. It's just the cards, my friends. All right. <laughs> Someone's behaving stupidly. Pay attention to your finances, okay? Now, that could be you behaving a little bit stupidly, a little bit naive. It's okay. It happens to us all. But again, it can also be someone around you who's acting a little bit stupidly. And because that card did come up with pay attention to your finances, um, it could be in relation to that. But anyway, my angels, I love you guys. I wish you all the best. Please um, let me know if it resonated down in the comments. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Alrighty.